And I don't know how <laughs> James O'Keefe manages to get like his staff to continue getting these administrators to speak so openly about their views. But I have to think they're they're just pretty close to the surface for them to be talking so openly like this. There's no like hushed tone. She's proud of it. So I, I would love to talk to James about his strategy and tactics. And what, what it seems like is there's a lot of honey traps taking place. And you will often find that there are these men wow. divulging their secrets to someone who sounds like a young woman who I presume, you know, is it at least an eight or a 10 um, or sorry, eight, an eight or a nine? Yeah. Camille's um, like, this, if, this if isn't my first rodeo. Nine, I know how this goes. Sort of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that's that's sufficiently enough to kind of entice you to start spilling the beans and sharing all your secrets. Um, but but apparently willing to do this with both genders doesn't quite care about your sexuality. But I imagine there's a lot of kind of hot or not fishing going on. Uh, in order <laughs> but it's to amazing to me, like you because there's so many questions and we're going to show you some of the tapes. And by the way, I think we're, we're having James O'Keefe join us later this week. Um, so I'll ask him. But it's amazing to me how many questions the undercover journalist asks these administrators about liberal versus conservative. How do you do it? How do you keep them, you know, the Republicans, the speakers and so on out of the school, out of the class? And they, they never catch on. If somebody had me, like it just kept <laughs> tweaking over and over, I think at some point I'd be like, holy shit, I better put down this margarita and maybe rethink yeah. this date. <laughs> In fairness, not everyone is expecting to have their kind of date uh, surreptitiously recorded <laughs> by people trying to smoke them out at a private school. I mean, the, I, you know, this is you can find monocultures in a lot of different places in this country. And God knows the New York City school system, as all of us uh, here have had experience with it, with the exception of Camille, but he's been close enough mm -hmm. to it. Um, God knows that that can be a monoculture and just filled with jargon. I recommend if anyone hasn't to read George Packer's Atlantic piece that was like five trillion words long from three or four years back talking about navigating what turns out to be kind of my system uh, uh, in Brooklyn. Um, you just like a, a most normal people would read this and say, my God, I don't even recognize the language that's being spoken. But you can find monocultures in a lot of different places with a lot of different slants on it. I don't think James O'Keefe will be uh, going in the middle of Kansas somewhere to try to, to find, you know, uh, if there's a conservative place that like, yeah, you know, these, these, these liberals that come over here, we got to do something with them. In fairness, I don't think that that place necessarily exists, no, uh, but neither do I. there's something neither about, do. there's something about that process, which, which uh, strikes me as a little bit uh, sketchy. Um, this is confirming something that we've seen. And, and for the rest of the country, looking at this saying, oh my God, this woman is from Mars. No, she's from New York. This, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is, yeah. that's uh, the thing. And, so it's like, all right. So I realize James has gotten criticism for the tactics they use, but I, I stand by what I said. God bless this guy, because we do need to see it. It's like the Disney situation where somebody pressed record on that executive and pe people didn't have to suppose anymore about Disney's secret agenda. It was all on camera, just like we don't have to suppose now, like these teachers who then wind up blaming libs of TikTok for taking something they said on Instagram out of context. No, you, I can see you say what context makes your joke about hiring a serial killer to take out the white boys? What context could make that better? I understand you think that's an appropriate joke as the mother of two white boys. I tell you, you can fuck right off. I'm sorry, but I don't, if you're not funny, <laughs> your school sucks. And what lunatic would pay $60,000 a year to send their child there? I don't care if you're liberal or not. All my friends are liberal. Most of them would be really <laughs> deeply offended by this shit. These lunatics have access to our children, and it's alarming. And so, again, God bless James O'Keefe. And this crazy lunatic at Trinity, um, I'll give you one more soundbite before I get on to her buddy in Connecticut. Everywhere I go. These lunatics are, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I moved to Connecticut. Now there's another it's guy It's a 200 mile radius. So you got to get out of it. That's just the problem. Uh, it's a long story. All right. Here's the second soundbite we cut from this person, Jennifer, um, about how even at Trinity, okay, which is already, as you point out, in the, in the New York City private school system, far left to begin with, okay? But even there, she's having trouble because she's she's finding she has to sneak some of her left-wing agenda in because apparently there's at least some person there who's like, well, we might have to not do, like, the craziest stuff. Here she is, soundbite two. Like, there's always groups of teachers who are like, I want to do these things, but the administration just wouldn't let us. So we've been just sneaking things in in the, in the crafts. I just keep trying to like disrupt wherever I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I'm in this position, I have so many opportunities to do that. But I said, 
there are some speakers I am not even going to put on the plate for yeah. them. And if that's a problem, I, I cannot be in charge of that. Yeah. And he was like, no. He said, this isn't a time for the, like, both sides. Like, he said, we're not in that place in our society. I like him. He's, so, he's your dean, he said? He's the principal of the high school. So you guys wouldn't let cons Republican perspectives on campus. Good. That's I close would. Yeah. Um, and then she talks about how if you sneak off campus to go do a demonstration, you're supposed to get suspended or you're supposed to get a detention. But she makes detention really fun. And they just talk about social justice activities <laughs> while there. I mean, you wonder why you get these lunatics on the college campuses and then running corporate America. This is the pipeline, guys. This is the pipeline exposed. It's the, well, it's the, the pipeline. pipeline. The pipeline is, is the public education system. Trinity, the people who are coming out of Trinity aren't necessarily going to be those people. They're going to be Oliver Stone. They're going to be like uh, investment <laughs> bankers who live in your neighborhood, uh, Megan. Um, it's the people I'm worried about, the uh, people who are spending my money uh, to do this and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and teaching my kids in this case. Um, that pipeline, which contains a lot of the similar things. You know, there's a place in, in a, a school in Manhattan that uh, told kids in middle school uh, in the morning, all right, let's everyone segregate by race. And then we're going to go and talk about, you know, our various experience. Hold on. You are a public school doing this. Um, uh, th that's where I think the locus of our uh, upset should be, because we have the ability to target that and to and affect that with um, the you know, kicking people out of school boards in this case in places like San Francisco and elsewhere. Um, and All it right. is a real Matt Welsh. It is Matt, real Matt Welsh, if it is public schools you want, it is public schools you're going to get because <laughs> James O'Keefe has been busy on behalf of private school students, though. No, you're wrong. It's a problem in both places because let's say you live in an area where the where the public schools are crappy. And so you really feel like you ha you got to put your kid in a public school or private school or Catholic school, what have you. This problem is becoming universal. So, you know, you flee and then the problem pops itself up again. You flee and then here it is again. Like I, I've experienced this myself right now. Our schools are not indoctrinating quite as badly as New York. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gone here. Um, but, you know, the problem of left leaning administrators who want to force their political views on your children is pretty much universal. So let's go public. This is not my my school district I'm taking you to, but James O'Keefe uh, went to, I believe it's the Cost Cobb Elementary School Public in Greenwich, Connecticut, and gets this guy, oh my, speaking of honey pot, right? Is it honey pot or honey trap, Camille? Honey trap? <laughs> honey, honey pot, honey crap. Honey, honey, honey trap, you hope you get honey. the honey pot as well, I suppose, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, that's definitely what happened to the assistant principal of Costco Elementary School, who's, you can just tell, he's got his margarita. You can't see the woman he's talking to, but she looks kind of hot from what you can see. <laughs> she has a hot voice. She has a good arm. And uh, yeah. he is clearly <laughs> drunk on his own margarita and uh, <laughs> talking about how, well, let's kick it off with the one that started to make all the news, which is he doesn't want to hire Catholics. You got to screen out all the Catholics, which, by the way, sir, just FYI, is Illegal. Okay, here it is. So then what do you do with the Catholics? If you find out someone is Catholic, then what? <laughs> so would you ever hire Catholics? You don't hire them, he said. I agree, but why not? Because it's just that there's always that if you were raised on the court, you know, it's like the so I really want to consider something new, like a new opportunity, you have to think about this book, you can just try to step back to the kitchen. Okay, I left that playing because our YouTube audience will see it later and they can see it's all transcribed. But for the listening audience, here's what happened. He said, I'm not a huge expert on religion. Protestants in this area are probably the most liberal. But if they're Catholic, conservative, the journalist says, what do you do with them? He says, you don't hire them. She says, would you ever hire a Catholic then? No. He says, no, I don't want to. Because if someone's raised hardcore Catholic, it's like they're brainwashed. You can never change their mindset. So when you ask them to consider something new, like an opportunity, or you have to think about this differently, they're stuck, just rigid. Um, that's, as I say, illegal, as is his on-the-record statement to her that he only hires younger 
He'll only go younger because older <laughs> might mean more conservative. So he will never interview somebody who is older. He That's likes them amazing. under 30. That's, I mean, I need that to be a two camera shoot, by the way, because for me, <laughs> Is six margaritas. If she's hot enough, I'm joining ISIS. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I, they they made some mistakes in in Iraq, but let's let's move on. Um, no, this is this is amazing because this is always an experiment that I do. Catholics, of course, you know, last name Moynihan. Maybe I have some bias here. Catholics are always getting it uh, in, in this case. But imagine if the news story, if this wasn't James O'Keefe, if this was anyone else and the administrator on a secret tape was saying, you know, who I really won't hire because they're very, very conservative Muslims. Muslims are really, really bad on gay marriage and Muslims are just bad in general. This would be a cover story in every newspaper in America. But you can have that sort of religious intolerance when it comes to Catholics, because, you know, it reminds people of Amy Coney Barrett or something. I just I don't I don't understand where, where mm -hmm. this is coming from. But just to, I, I do appreciate the fact that he doubles down and says, you know what, the previous one was like, Taught, was was legitimately racist, saying we're talking about white students in the entire race of students. These whites are bad. And then you move on to, you know, this religious discrimination. OK, let's throw another thing in there and say we don't want the olds. Yeah. Why? If this guy has a job as of tomorrow. And again, this is all presuming that these tapes are not edited. I don't know. I haven't seen them. Um, but if this is as it is presented, one would presume that this person would be out of a job. But but the lesson to everybody is, you know, don't be don't discriminate uh, you know, in religion, uh, race, uh, age, and don't get drunk with strangers and talk about your job. Well, as you know, we're in a recession and the only way to combat it is to think smarter about how we shop. You're buying meat at the grocery store. You could be buying it so much better. Good Ranchers gives you access to the best meat America has to offer at a price that has not gone up while all the others have skyrocketed. You don't have to get over your fear of commitment to subscribe with Good Ranchers. You can pause your subscription for up to 90 days or you can cancel it entirely anytime you want. All right. So it's not really that much of a commitment. You can keep your benefits and your locked in price without any long term contracts. Go to GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. And you can subscribe there and lock in your price. That's smart. Plus, you'll get thirty dollars off your first order, and you get free shipping. Good Ranchers was named the best food subscription earlier this year because they make getting America's best meat and seafood delivered to your door easy, affordable, and safe. Use that code M E G Y N Megan today. Again, that's code Megan, and get your box for thirty dollars off and free shipping. The only thing you're going to love more than the prime steaks better than organic chicken and superior seafood of Good Ranchers is the price you get to pay for it forever. GoodRanchers.com slash Megan. Head on over, subscribe, Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.